Hello guys, welcome to another Next.js tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to implement middleware in Next.js. On the screen is a new Next project with the list of the things we are going to do. Middleware is not peculiar to Next.js. It is common in Express, Laravel, and many other uh, web framework. We are going to start with a definition and then we talk about the request and the response object. We look at the different um, ways we can implement middleware in Next.js. And finally, we talk about dependency injection. So let's start with what is middleware. A middleware is a function that has access to the request and the response object and can call the next middleware uh, function. Right, that is the definition. We are going to see that in the code. So in Nest, there are different ways. Actually, there are two ways we can implement middleware. We can use the class syntax or just write a function. Let's start the demonstration with the class syntax. Over to the code. Let me create a file for the class uh, middleware, class-based syntax. Let's call this uh, demo.middleware.ts. You can call this whatever you want. So here I will say export class demo middleware. To implement a middleware, we need to implement the Nest middleware interface. That's the requirement. So our custom middleware has to implement the Nest middleware. And then, of course, we implement the required uh, methods. What we have is our custom middleware, right? We have met the basic, the minimum requirement for a middleware. Right now, our middleware is not doing much. Let's just do a console.log instead of throwing an exception. Console.log, save that. How do we apply this middleware? We, we are going to get back to this file in a moment. First, let's see how we can apply the middleware. We can apply the middleware globally, or we fine tune the routes that we want the middleware to, to run. To apply globally, we get to that when we get to the to function syntax. We can just come here and say app.use, and then the middleware. We we'll get to that. But to apply, for example, to specific routes, what we can do is to come to the uh, to the module. In this case, we are going to make use of the app module, and we make use of a helper called uh, middleware consumer. Let me check that middleware consumer. So, apply middleware. Of course, first we need to implement implement. Next module, make sure to import that and then the middleware consumer. This is some kind of helper that we can use to manage our, our middleware, right? Let me actually get this example here. Copy it over to the code. So what is happening is that we can use this uh, middleware consumer to apply our middleware and specify the route that the middleware should apply to. In this case, what we have is demo middleware. So I will import our demo middleware. Then for the route, uh, we don't have any route uh, for cards. Let's just apply to all the routes using the wildcard symbol. That means whatever route we hit, this middleware is going to run. Okay. With that in place, I will go to VS Code and start the server. Um, npm run start dev. That should start the server. Then we head over to the browser. The server has started. Visit localhost 3000. And OK, our app is stuck. But at least we got the console.log. Why is our app stuck? This is just 
the way the middleware works. When we have a middleware like this, we need a way to hand over um, the processing of the request to the next middleware, right? So that's the function of the next function. We call next, remember from the definition that we have access to this next that we can call to call the next middleware, whether that next uh, calls a route handler in the controller or whatever, we need this for, for the execution to continue. Alternatively, we can use the rest object to terminate the whole process. But let's see the next function in action first. I'll head over here and refresh this page. Here we get the hello world, which is coming from app controller, a default implementation. This is app service and app controller calling the app service method to return that hello uh, world. So our middleware is working. We have our console.log and we are able to hand uh, process to the next middleware. Then another thing is uh, from our definition, we say that a middleware is a function that has access to the request and the response object. This is actually the request object and this the response object. We can do with them whatever we please. Let's start with the response object. Here I can say res.json. By the way, this is equivalent to the express request object and the other one is equivalent to express response object. So request response import those from express here we can do perform certain um, express operations like res.json pass whatever data we want to pass there like uh, key value we save that then we go to localhost 3000 one more time you see we get that response the json response from our middleware right and of course, when you have something like res.n or res.json, the next, you, you are not required to call the next uh, function. You can do that if you want to, but it's no, it's no more required. So let me restore that. That is for the request object. We can do something similar for, for sorry, that is for response object. We can manipulate the request object, do with it whatever we Please, for example, let's say request.query dot uh, some key equals to I don't know, put anything here, John Doe. And instead of returning this, let me just return request.query. This line is just attaching some of uh, some property to the request uh, query. I will save that, head over to the browser and refresh. You can see that we get that so we we have access to the request object we can inspect it uh, modify it whatever and we also have access to the response object to do with it as we see fit okay guys that is the demonstration using the class middleware now let's take a look at how to implement the middleware using functions for function middleware also called functional middleware. The approach is actually simple. So um, let me create another file. Let's call it func.middleware.ts. Func.middleware.ts. So I will export const. Um, what do I call this? Greetings. Greetings is the name of our middleware. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, this is just a function, nothing special. That, of course, has access to the request, which uh, which also comes from express request object, and then response express response and next. This is next function from express, right? Here, we are just going to say console.log. Oh, come on. Hello, how are you? Okay, that is our function middleware. 
to apply the middleware just similar to what we have seen before so for example i can i can come over to app module and instead of this instead of the class uh, middleware that i applied here let me just apply the let me just apply the function middleware make sure to import that and save our server is up and running go back and refresh the page we get our console.log hello how are you and of course we can do the things we did in the other me do it so let me just copy this copy this and come over here and how the save that refresh the page one more time and we get how did all right so that is function me do it and um the next question is what is the difference between the function middleware and the class middleware before we take a look at that let me demonstrate applying this middleware globally so i'll come to the app module and undo what i did before leave the class based middleware there let me go to um, main.ts5 app.use greetings middleware okay so i will refresh the page i'm getting an error so this error occurred because we have already sent a response from the middleway but the request response cycle did not terminate at that point what that means is this if you look here we are sending a response to the client right but this function does not return that means that the request response cycle continues even down to the app controller to the get hello etc to demonstrate this what i can do is let me go over to the middleware and instead of sending response to the client here i will just comment it out and do console.log of um, request dot Query. just console.log there no response sent to the client and refresh the page when i refresh the page you can see that the middleware ran and then the controller the route handler but when we introduce this res.json um, to send response to the client if i refresh the page we come back with this error so one way to solve this is that we can just return here if we want to send the response to the client at this point if i refresh the page you can see that the error goes away okay so why function middleware and class middleware well one this thing one thing this thing about the two approaches is dependencies making use of dependencies in class middleware we can utilize the nextjs um, the dependency dependency injection that means that the same way we can inject dependencies in our controllers or services we can inject the dependencies in the class middleware to demonstrate this um, and of course this can also be injectable that is the class middleware itself so i will apply the injectable decorator there then inside here i'm going to have a constructor we are going to inject via constructor private read only app service app service to demonstrate that we have access to app service at this point let me attach one more thing to to our query param rec dot query dot greetings is equal to away this dot. it is not an asynchronous function so this dot app service dot get hello i will come over here let me comment out this 
the function media where that terminates the request response cycle. So I've modified the the middleware, the demo middleware, making use of uh, app service. And Next.js will handle the dependency injection for us. If I come over here and refresh, you can see that we have access to app service. So that is the main, um, the major difference I've seen between the, the function middleware and the class-based syntax. All right, guys. So this brings us to the end of the lesson, but you can as well take a look at the official documentation of Next.js to see other things you can do with the middleware. Until next time, happy coding.